magandang araw sa atin mga idol at ito po yung tutorial natin sa civil service exam 15 items numerical reasoning okay number 1 na tayo what comes next 35 29 37 31 39 33 oy okay, kung gusto mo i-try paki mo na yung video at try mo sagutan okay so solve na natin okay so pag nakita tayo agad nung sa pag number series yan hanapan agad natin nung common difference so dito ano nangyari dito minus 6 Ito naman is nag plus 8. Ito naman minus 6 ulit. Then ito nag plus 8. Then ito minus 6. Yan, may pattern na tayo. So, sunod dito is maga plus 8 na tayo agad. So, 38, 33 plus 8 is 41. So, the correct answer is letter C. Yan lang. Or may isa pang pattern. Tingnan nyo to yung alternating terms. 35, 37, 39, plus 2, plus 2, ito rin. 29, 31, plus 2, plus 2. So, dito, magpa-plus 2 ka lang. So, 41. Okay, question number 2. What must be the score of faith in her fourth quiz to have an average of 92 if she already got 87, 95, and 91 in her first three quizzes? Okay, pause, pause mo muna yung bid pag gusto mo itry so... Okay, so ba natin? So, dito sabi, ano raw yung hinahanap? Kung yung first three quizzes niya, ito yung may given na. Meron na siya agad na score. Ang hinahanap yung fourth quiz niya para mag-92 yung average. So, pag sinabing average is 92, then apat yung quizzes, anong gagawin natin? Yung 92, ta times natin sa 4 para makuha natin yung sum ng apat na quizzes niya. Kasi yung average 92 eh. So, the times natin sa 4. 8, 368. Yan yung sum ng apat na quizzes. Paano natin mahanap yung pang-apat? Hindi dapat ipagpa-plus lang natin tong tatlo na to. Then, isubtract dito sa, sa 368. So, 87 plus 95. 12 group 1. 182 plus 91. 3, 7, 1, 2, 273. Para mahanap natin yung pang-apat, lang natin dito. So, minus 273, 5, 2, 9. So, the correct answer is letter C, 95. Okay, now, problem number 3. Solve for n. n over 8 is equal to 9 over 12. So, ano to? Ratio and proportion. So, ganito lang. Para makuha natin tong n, ta-times lang natin tong 8. Ito. So, magiging n equals 9 times 8 over 12 na siya. Ilipat lang natin. So, n equals ano yung 9 times 8? 72 over 12. Then, n equals ano 72 divided 12? 6. So, yun lang. The correct answer is letter A. 6. Problem number 4. There are 30 animals in the farm consisting of pigs and hens. If there are 84 legs in all, how many pigs are there? Okay, pag ngayon sa ganitong problem na to, trial and error talaga, di ba? Pag di mo, di mo, no, parang pang sure. Pero may short ka tayo dyan. Turo ko. Okay. Pigs, di ba? And hens. Yung pig, ilan yung paa niya? Di ba? Apat. Sa hen, dalawa. Sabi raw, 30 animals, hat, then 84 legs. Tinatanong, how many pigs? Pero ito yan. Takip-takip tayo. Pag hinahanap yung pig, Kasi pig naman pinapahanap dito. Ito gagamitin natin yung paanong hen. Yung paanong hen, ta-times natin sa number of animals. So, 30 times 2 is 60. Then, subtract natin sa total number. Then, 84 minus 60 is 24. Then, ipag-subtract natin yung total nila. 4 minus 2 is 2. So, di-divide natin tong 24 sa 2. Which is 12. So, yun na yung sagot. 12. So, sagot is letter C. So, ibig sabihin dito, yung hen is, ma-minus lang natin, 30 minus 12 is 18. Ito na tanong, bigs lang. So, ito. So, para sure check natin, ha. Kunyari, hinahanap is hen. So, gagamitin natin, gagamitin natin yung paanong pig. So, 4. So, times natin, na 30 times 4 is 120. Then, subtract sa total number of legs. 6, 11, 36. Then, yung 36, 36, i-divide natin sa yung subtract nito, 4 minus 2. Divide 2, 18. 
So, yun number ng hen 18, which is correct na 18. So, ganun siya. Yun yung shortcut. Tarin nyo. Yun din. Okay, problem number 5. Quantity 7.4 plus 6.6 .6 times 0 0.6. Okay, PEMDAS. So, ito natin isasabi yung nasa parenthesis. 7.4 plus 6.6. .6. 0, 1, 14.0 So, at disregard na natin yung 0 Then, times 0. 0.6 Times 0. 0.6 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.6 Wala yan So, 4, 2, 6 times 1 is 6 Plus 2 is 8 Then, itong 0, bayaan na lang natin Ilang decimal place? 1 So, 1 So, the right answer is letter D 8.4 Problem number 6. A dorm owner increased the rent by 20% of the previous monthly rent. The new rent is 3,600 pesos. Find the original rent. So, ibig sabihin, yung sagot dito, mas mababa sa 3,600. Kasi ito, ito na may, may increase na siya ng 20%. So, itong C at D, X na yan. So, pagpipili na natin is A tsaka B. Okay, paano ba to? Kung ito raw is may increase na ng 20%, ibig sabihin, 120% yan ng original. So, ang gagawin natin is i-divide lang natin ito ng 120%. 3,600 divided by yung 120%, saan ba siya equal? Sa so decimal, di ba 1.2? So, divide natin ng 1.2. Move tayo ng decimal, move tayo ng 0. So, 36 divided 12, 3. 36... 0. So, ito copy na lang natin to 0, 0, 0. So, the correct answer is letter A, 3,000 pesos. Okay, problem number 7. The sum of 5 consecutive integers is 65. Find the middle number. Okay. Pag sinabing sum ng 5 consecutive, ibig sabihin sunod-sunod yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ang sum nila ay 65. So, yung average nito, or yung middle number na yun na yung hinahanap, is, yun lang, i-divide lang natin kung ilan sila. So, ibig sabihin, itong gitna na to, yan lang yung average nila. So, 65 divide 5. Paano mako yung average? Diba yung sum divided by kung ilang number sila? So, 1, 5, 15, 15 divide 5 is 3, 15. So, correct answer is 13 or letter C. Number 8, the length of a rectangle is 8 meters more than the width. If the perimeter is 60 meters, what is the length? Okay. So, algebra tayo. Ang length daw is 8 meters more than the width. Hindi natin alam yung width. So, ilet natin yung width na x. Then, yung length is x plus 8. Okay. So, the perimeter daw is 60 meters. What is the length? Ang perimeter ng rectangle is 2 times length plus width. Diba? Okay. So, P equals 2 times wait lang. Ano na lang natin to. Anong sabi yung perimeter daw kasi is 60. So, yung P is 60. Then, 2 times ano yung length? X plus 8 plus width na X. Okay. Ito yung length. Ito yung width. So, simplify na lang natin. 2 times X plus X. 2X plus 8. Diba? Then, ito Pwede na natin distribute or i-divide na lang. So, i-divide na lang natin ito ng 2. Divide both sides by 2. Ang mangyayari is 30 equals 2x plus 8. Okay, ito ilipat natin sa kabila. So, ito pwede natin ilipat yung 8 sa kabila. Bali, ang magiging 24 minus 24. 22 rather. 22 equals 2x. Okay. Kasi ito ay eh, ililipat natin sa kabila. Bali, magiging 30 minus 8 na yun siya equals 2x, di ba? Kaya naging 22 equals 2x. Then, divide both sides by 2. Mangyari, 11 equals x. So, yung x natin, 11. Yung tinatanong link. Ano nang dito yung link? x plus 8. So, magiging 11 plus 8 equals 19. So, the correct answer is letter B, 19 meters. Okay, sa question number 9 na tayo. Two cars start from the same point at the same time and travel in opposite direction at constant speed of 25 km per hour and 31 km per hour, respectively. In how many hours will they be 336 km apart? So, okay. So, 
Pag ganito talaga, mas maganda, mas madali is mag-drawing tayo. Mag-imagine. Okay, so paano yun? Kunyari, may car tayo dito. Ito yung car 1, car 2. Sila, patakbo rin sila pag ano ni, eh, pahiwalay. Okay? So, sa isang oras, kung 25 km per hour ang takbo ng isa, big sabihin sa isang oras, naka 25 km na siya. Then, yung isa naman is naka 31 km na. Yan sa isang oras. So, ang layo nila sa isang oras is, i-add lang natin, 30, 21, 25 plus 31 is 56. 56 km. So, ang tatanong, paano naman kapag 336 km apart sila, ilang oras yon? So, i-divide lang natin. 336 divided by 56. So, pag 30 divided by 5 is 6. So, try natin yung 6. 6 times 6, 36. So, 6 times 5 is 30 plus 3, 33. So, yun na. Ang correct answer is 6. Letter C. 6 hours. What comes next? Okay. 31, 32, 30, 31, 29, 30. Okay. Number series to. So, hanapin natin yung difference ng bawat terms. So, dito nag plus 1 tayo. Dito nag minus 2. Dito nag plus 1. Minus 2. Plus 1. So, next is ganun ulit. Minus 2. So, 30 minus 2 is 28. Yun lang, letter D, 28. Okay, number 11. What comes next? 7, 8, 5, 10, 3. Tingnan natin ulit. Plus 1, minus 3, plus 5, minus 7. So, ano sunod? Ang napapansin natin dito sa 1, 3, 5, 7. ba diba add numbers yan? So, anong sunod na add number dito? May D9. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So, 3 plus 9 is 12. Letter A. 12. Number 12. Again, number series. What comes next? 81, 80, 78, 77, 74, and 73. Ganun ulit gagawin natin. So, dito nag minus 1 tayo. Dito nag minus 2. Dito nag minus 1. Dito nag minus 3. Dito nag minus 1. So, ano nasunod dito? Hanap tayo pattern. Alternate. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So, dito negative 2, negative 3. So, pwede dito is negative 4. So, 73 minus 4 is 69. So, the answer is letter B, 69. Okay, number 13. Ito na naman. Number series. What comes next? 3, 4, 8, 17, 33. Check natin ulit. Plus 1. So, dito is plus 4. Dito is plus 17 minus 8 plus 9. Dito is 33 minus 17 is 16. So, plus 16. So, hanapin natin yung sunod. Ang napapansin natin dito sa 1, 4, 9, Yan yung tatawag na perfect square. Bakit? Kasi yung 1 equal yan siya sa 1 squared. Itong 4 equal siya sa 2 squared. Ang 9 equal sa 3 squared. And ang 16 equal siya sa 4 squared. So, ang sunod dito is 5 squared which is 25. So, magpa plus 25 tayo. So, what is 33 plus 25? 8, 5. 58. Or letter C. 58. Okay, question number 14. Faith is 5 years older than Renz. 3 years from now, the sum of their ages is 37. How old is Faith now? Okay, may age problem tayo. So, para ganito, gawa tayo ng legend. Yung given, hanapin agad natin. Yung pinakmadali. So, si Faith daw is 5 years older than Renz. Hindi natin alam edad ni Renz. So, ilet x natin edad ni Renz. Then, kay Faith is x plus 5. 3 years from now, the sum of their ages is 37. So, after 3 years, ang edad na ni Faith is x plus 8. Kaya Renz is x plus 3. Ano nangyari yun? Nag plus 3 lang tayo. Then, the sum of their ages daw is 37. So, ano ba sum nito? 2x plus 11. Equate lang natin sa 37. Kasi yun nga daw, di ba? Yung sum nila is 37. Then, solve for x. 
Then 2x equals 37 minus 11. Then 2x equals 37 minus 11 is 26. And x equals 13. Kasi divide ng both sides by 2 para makancel yung 2. So, ito na yung x. Ang tatanong, ilan yung edad ni Faith ngayon? Ito yung edad ni Faith ngayon. Kung x is 13, ano edad ni Faith? Edad 13 plus 5 equals siya sa 18. So, sangkot is 18, letter B. Okay, let's proceed to last item number 15. Negative 11 minus quantity negative 13 minus 4. Okay, PEMDAS, integers tayo. So, dito wala naman tayo nakakita ng parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division. Ito na yung subtraction to. Okay? So, dito, simula lang yan tayo sa left. Papuntang right. Okay, negative 11 minus negative 13. Kapag magsusubtract tayo ng integers, anong gagawin natin? ba? Yung minus, magiging plus sign siya. Then, yung subtrahend, ito yung subtrahend, babaguhin natin yung sign. Ibig na negative 13, magiging positive 13 na siya. So, negative 11 plus 13 na mangyari. So, ano to? 13, pag mag-add mag naman tayo, ba magkaiba ng sign, isusubtract natin, then kukunin natin yung sign ng mas malaki. So, 13 minus 11 is 2. Anong mas malaki dito? Positive, diba? Positive 13. So, sagot is positive 2. Then, diretso tayo. May minus 4 pa tayo. So, 2 minus 4. Paano to gawin? ba? 2 minus 4. Ano yan? Hindi yan. Iba yung 4 minus 2, ah. Sa 2 minus 4. Yung 4 minus 2 is positive 2. Kapag 2 minus 4 naman is negative 2. So, the correct answer is letter B. Negative 2.